this video, I want to uh, show you or talk about multiplying integers. Okay, so what what does it mean to say two times negative three? Two times negative three. You may have heard teachers say plus times minus is minus and two times three is six. So this is how you write. But I want to explain what how do you get negative six or what does it means to say that two log, two times negative three. Now this, if you want to write as, so two times negative three means two lots of negative three. Two lots of negative three. Okay, so let me write negative properly. This is not minus three, but negative three. So how, so I'm defining this as a red tile as negative one and a green tile as a positive one or as positive one. So let me, ex uh, so this is one, this is negative one. If you have two tiles, this is negative two. And if you have the third tile you have, this you can say this is, to understand this is negative three. So two lots of negative three means, suppose if you want to write this, this also means this is negative three plus negative three. And negative three plus negative C three is negative six. So let me highlight this, the whole thing. Oops, I want to highlight the whole thing. Uh, copy it and paste it here. Okay, so this is, this is what it means. This is one lot of negative three. This is the second lot of negative three. And you've got six tiles, which is negative six. Okay, or if you want to do it faster, positive times negative is negative, and two times three is six. But you should understand the meaning of two times negative three means two lots of negative three. So let me cancel this. Oops, I want to highlight the whole thing and cancel. Okay. Uh, it takes a while to cancel, so I don't want this to cancel. Okay, so let me take one more example to explain this. What does it mean to say negative 5 times 2? Negative uh, 5 times 2 is same as this is 2 times negative 5. You can multiply two numbers in any order. So this is same as asking two lots of negative five. Two lots of negative five. You have, and two lots of negative five gives you negative 10. So let me uh, draw one lot of negative five. So this is one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so this is one lot of negative five. So this you can, this whole thing can be described as negative five. So let me highlight this whole thing, copy it and paste it here. Okay, so this is, oops, I want to highlight this whole thing and move it here. So here you've got one lot of negative five and the second lot of negative five. So here the question is negative five plus negative five, which is negative 10. Okay, so now what happens if suppose, this is where the most crucial, two negative two times negative three. Teachers may have told you negative times negative is positive and two times three is six, but why? is negative times negative is positive. That's what I want to explain. Okay, now before I explain that, let me explain something else. Now, any number, what is say five times zero? Five times zero is zero. Now, any number times zero, what is negative two times zero? That's also zero. You multiply zero to any number that becomes zero. Okay, zero is, that's what zero is called a great equalizer. Now to understand this, I'm going to do a little bit of maths. 
you have to be patient. So this negative two times three is what I want to find. Okay, this is what, what is negative two times negative three? This is my question mark. So well, negative two, I want to answer this. So let me draw a square, a small square here. So this is what I want to answer. What is negative two times negative three? Well, I know two times negative two times zero is zero. Now, can I write negative zero? Oh, sorry. Can I write zero as three plus negative three? If you add three or plus three, let's just say plus three times sorry, three plus negative three is zero. Now, using the distributive property, so we know this is also zero. This is zero. This is zero. So we know negative two times zero is zero. So negative two times three plus negative two is also zero. Now using the distributive property, I can say, well, this is negative two times three. If you want to write plus three, plus using the distributive property, this is same as negative two times negative three should be zero. Okay, now we saw this is same as writing three times negative two. This is three times negative two plus negative two times negative three is zero. Now we know th this means this is three lots of negative two. What is three lots of negative two? Well, that's negative six. And we know the answer is zero. If this is negative six, what should this be? Well, that should be plus six, because negative six plus six will only give you zero. And that's why negative times negative is positive. And that's why you write six.